We're back with Flourishing Flower Potted Plant. And that's the little pot. And it stands up on that little triangle base right there. Flourishing Flower because it's outgrowing its pot. Going to have to replant it soon. And so you can, uh, you can fold it out of uh, half a sheet of square paper. And then it won't stand up though. Unless you bring the leaves way down. And then they can touch right there in front of the pot. So it's based on a model I saw on Anastasia's channel. Channel name is N Procuda. And to fold it with a half a sheet of paper, if you have two sides, the side you want facing out, you start with that up and you fold each corner in. Now to use the dollar to make it stand up, we're going to start with the back and fold the two corners down to the point like that. Then fold in half and line these two points up. And fold this over. I'm just going to lock together the top part of it here. So then you fold this point over. And then don't let any of that slip. And you fold it over again. Bringing this line to the center, to the left edge, I mean. So, like that. And now we've got it locked together at the top point. And then, while we're building the model, we're just going to move this out of the way to whichever side it's out of the way at. So, you open it up inside. Keep that vertical line. See right there it can open, but that is keep that straight up and down like the paper model would be. So now you take this edge and you fold it to the center and just let this corner come around. So you go down like this. And we're making this crease on the back right here. So now do the other one. Let that corner come around. So now flip that over so you can crease up here. And what we do is we're bringing this point up to the top point. And I'm just straightening up my top point a little bit. There we go. So now you bring this point up here. You're just folding right here. But don't crease it all the way down to the groove yet. Just get the uh, point lined up there. Pinch right here. And then fold this back. To this edge lines up with that one. Like that. Just pinch up in the top region. So that's still kind of puffed out. Because now we want to bring this point up to here as well. And the tricky part is oh, it's got a little knot there. The tricky part is this part of the paper wants to come up with it. And so what we got to do is pre-fold this. So I've got it upside down. Pre-fold this into a point a little bit here. Lining up that edge with this crease. There we go. 
So now push in right here at this crease and bring, push that out and bring this around some. So now, now we can fold this up here because we want this to come around the front. So put your finger in there, bring this around even more. As you're laying this up here, see it gets a little bit kinky in there, but you just have to go up that way further usually. And so there we go. Now it's laying down. Now we've got to do the same thing to the other side. So you bring the point up this point to the top so this has a few tricky folds in it just pinch up here some and lay this over lining up these edges just pinching the top part get to the bottom pre-fold this point this edge up to here just a little bit and then push this in and pull this this way and then you can start to bring this edge over to here as you start to fold it up and see how it's not quite over far enough so I need to push in here a little further bring it up It just happens to be a little bit further. There we go. So now this comes in. As you fold this up, it's got a little kink here, so I'm pinching. Holding this point and then bringing this one up. So let's let's line this up on this crease a little bit better. Right there. And it comes all the way over to here. So it goes like that. And just put that back inside. So we had a little more trouble on that side, but that was good. Because you can see the kind of things you run into. So now we just gotta straighten that out. That tool doesn't really help. You don't need it. You can just pinch it down. So now you've got it like this. All right. I got something urgent real quick. Sorry. Hang on. All right. So I'm back. And what we're doing here is now the paper is really thick right here. And it's going to get thicker. So what we're going to do now is fold from that point. Bringing this edge, well, we're going to fold from this point to this point. So, I'm going to fold it in just like that. This is that little part from the back. If you're using half a sheet of paper, you don't have that. And now from this point to that point. Alright, so we wanted to pre-fold those so that we don't go into their space. So you 
can open those back up a little bit. There's actually a lot of different ways you can do the flowers at the top, the leaves. But we're going to stick with the one that I showed at the beginning. And now you tuck this edge all the way over to the creases over here. So you just open it up and just get one layer and go up to the top, make you a little point, go to the other side, make a little point, and then bring this in as you close it back to make these line up. So I already went too far. <laughs> but this one, it has a lot of uh, interesting folds. And if these aren't exactly like this, that's, that's fine. Because, you know, flowers are not exactly the same. So I've got it laying down toward the center. It's pretty close right there. And close back up. Now I've got to do that to all three. It's really the same thing. Just pull those in. And close back up. So I like this one because it, it really does look like a plant to me. It's a flowering plant and I'm not really good at keeping plants. And I had a bonsai plant and it finally died. And I just don't know how to take care of them that great. So I'm going to have me these little plants. Of course they don't help your air. Alright, one more. So, I've used this base to learn a lot of things. And I made my dragonfly out of it. You can make a six-pointed star. And I just really like how you end up with all these different patterns you can make from this base. Alright, so there we go. Now, this part I'm still kind of actually working on to make better. So, we're going to try closing it right now. And go to the back. And this is kind of tricky, but we want to flatten this fold out. You can you can actually go like that. Let's try it like this. I think it's going to... Oh, yeah, that's right. So we, we just need to squash fold this. And maybe we should have taken care of it earlier. You have to stick something inside there. Keep these points together. Bring that down like that. You see what I did? I opened it up with the screwdriver. And just flattening it down like that in the center. Now, keep this center crease in the center. And bring it up that way. So that's how it goes. Now we're going to make the pot. And we need actually one third, one third, you know, three, three equal parts. So just to be on the safe side, just fold this up. where there's a bunch sticking up. So 
see so we've got about one third sticking up above this edge of the pot and now we want to hold here and widen this out now we've got to tuck that in behind these two corners so open those up and get it tucked in against it really tight see pull this out now push these back in And so there's the front of the pot. You can redo it again if it's not that great. This side came out good, but this side didn't. So I'm just going to redo it. You could run into that trouble too. And there, there we go. Flatten it down. Yeah, these are going to vary. <laughs> Excuse me. I mean, I have not figured out the best way to teach a lot of these models I show on my channel. And they're brand new, too. You know, so that's what you get by watching cutting edge. I'm just going to try and pull this over a little bit. And it didn't really work. But that's how it is. I just wish it wasn't as crinkly in the middle. The other ones aren't exactly like that. Yeah, that one is. That one's pretty nice there. So then on that one, I didn't spread out the center part. But it's not staying tucked in very well. And the leaves are actually holding it in. Which, that might not be a bad way to do it. So now to make it stand up, if you're using the dollar, we're going to pull up on this pinched part while we push in here. And don't let this come undone either. So we're going to put our finger here and right here and pull up. And it makes a little triangle pad. Oblong tower looking thing. So that's what it's going to stand up on. And then now we just have to shape our leaves. So you take just one pointed stack. Go in behind it, open it up, flatten it out however you want it. You can have it coming down some, you can have it going out. And then do the other side so it's about the same. And even though we wrecked this by holding it, now we know exactly how that goes in the back. Well, I smashed mine. I don't know if you did. And then on this, you can put one over top. Or you can start with the back ones first. I mean, you can get lots of different looks of the flowers, the leaves, the petals, depending on how you open these and in what order. So now just 
Squish that back some. Move that over. Now you can curve the leaves if you want, the petals. This one, just lay that over. And it's really thick there, so I bent it quite a bit. All right, that's pretty much it. We just got to fix the stand in the back. Thanks for watching. I hope you let me know if you like it with a click. And I like this one a lot. So you just push here and here and pull toward you with this part. And it makes that little base. And now you have to mess with it a little bit to get to stand up. So push in some more and pull that down. There we go. That ought to work. Yeah. And so I hope you like that one. Pretty cool. Enjoy. See you next time. I'm going to have another ring. Uh, one dollar and God we trust ring. You can make it large, medium, or small. And we've got some other ones coming. Take care.